Well, Kelvin, winter breaks were in the news last week and we had our own enforced winter break on Saturday with no game at Blackpool. Um, but I gather you took the opportunity to go on a bit of an unofficial scouting mission. Yeah, it was, it was actually, I actually only flew in last week and there was a couple of events that we were that was doing and unfortunately a couple of them got cancelled, so including the game at, at Blackpool. So, uh, no, and me and Jimmy went up to down, down to Milton Keynes and uh, Bristol Rovers, so it was, it was it was actually good to get out the get out of the house as it were and uh, get outside and uh, were able to take in a game and you know it was good, it was a it was a decent game actually in the end. Uh, Bristol Rovers was a good side and uh, you know Jimmy and the team have got to get prepared for that and uh, on Saturday. The weather's relented, so back in action this weekend. Still 11 games to go, and although it doesn't sound really, that's a quarter of the season, so plenty to play for. Yeah, no, look, you know, we know, you know, we, we knew what Jimmy had to do. We know what we've got to do, and we know exactly what we've got to do now going forward. And and really, it's just about getting the right amount of points. You know, you do, I think this is it's very important that we don't focus on other teams. We don't focus on what else is going on around us. I think it's just so important that we actually. Uh, concentrate on the points that we think we need and uh, get those at, at whatever point you know it's, I think again it's incredibly important that we don't get caught up in we've got to win the next game and we've got to win that get the following game it's more important that we get the required points to ensure that we stay above the uh, that relegation line and, and we, you know we, we we if we get them in the last game or the, the first game it doesn't matter as long as we get enough points Football's full of ups and downs, short, medium and long term. So no doubt of the next 11 games, we'll have our highs, we'll have our lows. But you're saying the important thing is to focus on the points tally we need, irrespective of other results and just concentrate yeah, on the Yeah, no, I, I, I'm a believer in that. You know, we'll, yeah, I'm sure the fans have done it and I'd sit there and do it and you work out points per game and you work out how many points per game we've had. And I could probably tell you, you know, myself in terms of, you know, if we get the, the current points per game, we, we should get over, you know, 50 points, which be, a lot of people believe is... Is what, is what you need to stay up. So it, it might be tighter this year, it might not. You never know, you can't predict it. So the key is for us is, is to focus on each game. And I know it's a cliche, but it's the truth. You focus on each game and ensure you get the points required. So it doesn't matter when they come. I guess also it doesn't really matter where they come as long as they can be that home or on the road. Listen, you know, it's just, football, we all know, you'd rather win your home games and, you know, but. You know, at the moment we're we're looking like we you know we're better away at times, and uh, for so whatever reason, and it's not this isn't the time to worry about reasons, or it isn't the time to worry about um, things like home records, away records. It's you know you get the, and I've always said it, and I said it since I started football and started being involved in football, and I said the gym when you first come in, we just got to win games. If you win games, and these sort of worries go away. So, and he knows that we've talked about that quite a bit, and. And, uh, and and that's what we've got to do. And the players have got, to, you know, step up and, and and win some games. Full focus on the last eleven games, then. But um, just off the field, the latest position on the East Stand. Yeah, no, you know, it's pretty much as it was. But it's you know, the, I know the trust met the council, and it was it was uh, it was good for them to the council to say that they, we should hopefully have a decision by the end of well, it's now the end of this month, isn't it? It's now the end of March. So uh, we'll wait for that. We'll look forward to that. And it was good. You know, it was good for a third party like the trust to actually hear it from the council that you know we are still you know we've been saying for so long that we're waiting for the council to to finalise things and um, it was good that the trust heard that as well independently from us so you know it's what we've been saying and it's you know it proved to be correct and um, and also it was good you know the, the trust said that I think they just said in their statement that they'd, they'd seen some of the plans and on the discussions and they um, they believed it was in the best interest of the football club. So again, independently sort of verified it for us, and uh, so we're we're pleased about that. So we just wait now with a uh, uh, bated breath, as it were, and uh, hopefully we start to see some movement.